Now, I will grant this looks catastrophic. My dress, my beautiful pure white wedding dress. But we mustn't panic. This can be fixed, Harley, I'm sure of it. That was the most gorgeous thing I ever owned. And will be again, not to worry. Don't worry. We don't you don't worry. Easy. Remember, remember, she's family. And family that believes in reparations. This dress can definitely be reclaimed. You hear that, Harley? She can reclaim it. All right? Go ahead, Sam. Tell us how you're going to do it. Well, my nanny did this very thing once to a lace tablecloth, but she soaked it in bleach, and poof! It was pristine. You see that? In a poof, it's going to be pristine. No, I want white. It will be. I promise. How did it happen? I want to know. How did it happen? He forced you, didn't he? Come here. Just like you knew I'd be here. I've never seen this room before. Well, would you like a tour? No, no, not now. We need to talk. No, no, no. We need to celebrate. We have won. Josh is in jail. All the planning, all the suffering, all the scheming, it's all over, darling. It's payback time. What are you talking about? We've won. No, no, I've lost. What? I lost the girl I loved. Yeah, Look, Salida me. is dead. do something that despicable, it would be completely in character for him and I'd be absolved. But it would be a lie. What are you telling me? This was your idea? Why? Oh, the same reason for all my mistakes once I got back to Springfield. This happened after you already... No! No, it was before. It was before Mexico. It was just a part of, of my plan to, to clear my father's name. I needed Alan to be on my side, and so I was willing to do anything. I never even met you. It was before you and I. I'm not, I'm not trying to make an excuse for myself. There's no excuse for what I did, but there is a reason, and you said you wanted to hear it. Yeah, I'd like to hear it. I tried to tell you so many times before. Hi. When I was in the hospital, and when we were in New York at the Delacorte. Not because I was afraid that Alan would tell you first, but... I wanted so desperately to be honest with you. I do love you so much. And... When you get back to Springfield, in case he tries to fight with you for control of Spalding Enterprises. He might try to use this against you in the worst possible way, and I just want you to be at least prepared for that. I appreciate it. Thank you. I never wanted him, Philip. It was not about him. 
And once I met you, everything became about you. You're leaving now, aren't you? So, I searched all over the beach for their air holes. I knew they couldn't have gone far. And then finally, down by the rock, I saw them. Yep. Two pair of beady little eyes. So you grabbed it right then? A bee started burrowing. Must have gone down five feet by the time I got to them. Five feet. Well, okay, a long way down. <laughs> a baroness telling fish stories. Do you want to hear this? The technique could prove useful. All right, all right. Please, tell me. How did you lure them to the surface? I... I took a stick mm -hmm. and started stirring up the sand uh -huh. all around them and stomping on the ground. I figured if they thought there was an earthquake, they'd come up and look around. An earthquake? <laughs> I'm on a lot of sand. And they're small and amazingly stupid. They have to be. <laughs> anyway, anyway, it worked pretty soon. One of their princes came bursting out and I grabbed it. With your bare hands? Well, not exactly. I improvised. Well, yeah, so what do you use? Never mind. I need to do a little laundry later. Baroness, did you? Don't ask. <laughs> okay, all right. All right. <laughs> a toast, then. Who? Uh, Your ingenuity. <laughs> and to the best damn crack crab that's ever been my pleasure to eat. And to your design sense. Huh? The flowers are perfect. Well balanced with the table height. They're on the ground. So you couldn't miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mm. oh. Got a surprise for you. We're getting new curtains. No. You're adding on another room to the house? No. And just stop it right now, otherwise you're gonna be really disappointed with my surprise. I'll be a big lift. Well, when I was out there. Very manly like rummaging around. Mm -hmm. Guess what I came across? Close to where I found your special formulated cold cream. <gasps> there is a guy. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. I can't remember the last time anything felt this good. I thought that, uh, while I was doing that, if it had been, say, Pat Beagle, the one who was out there <laughs> rummaging around, how that had been the only thing that he had found, how furious he would have been. He would have been? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. I mean, he... All he could practically think about was how he could start bringing in a crop of tobacco for his <laughs> stogies. <laughs> I'm filling the coconut milk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I guess it's a good thing it's just the two of us here. I guess so. You know, you're getting just as bad as Josh. He's got a reason to want his little sonny back with you. I don't know what your excuse is. What is it, Mindy? Look, I want the truth. Which version would you prefer today? We've had so many. No, you have. I had one. Your love for me? My love for Salida. I am Solita. Don't tell me that you are buying that garbage the defense is pushing. Look. I'm a doctor. Now, I know what's going on right now. You're... You're confused. I am clear as a bell. My name is Solita. No. You heard the testimony. Salida is... And everyone is turning on me, including you. No, Sonny. No. Don't call me that. Would you stop calling me Look, that? Look, I'm your friend. I'll always be your friend. But you were there. You were there in court. 
Lita has been dead for 15 years. They found her body. Oh, they found a body, and there has been some mistake. Well, I am Solita, and clearly, I am not dead. I think you should know that better than anyone, right? What the hell is the matter with you? Don't tell me the thrill's gone. Now, look! Look! Just stop it. Stop all the lies. And this is getting us nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. How can you be so cold? My Salida is dead. All along, all along, you've been lying to me. You should stop spending so much time with Josh because you're starting to sound more and more like him by the minute. Salida died when we were children. Now, please just tell me how she died. What? What happened? What happened to Salida? Did you kill her? What are you talking about? No. Uh, what do you do? Searching desperately through this chemistry book. Why is that? I've potentially destroyed Harley's wedding dress with blue bath salts. If the bleach it's soaking in doesn't work, I may have to resort to alchemy. Alchemy? Hmm. Oh, where is she? Oh, Al and Michael took her upstairs. She was counting to ten. Have you seen Harley? What? No. She's upstairs. Vera, you're flustered. I've got a caterer outside with a truck full of foolies trying to unload, and he insists that Harley ordered it. I did. For two weeks from today for the reception. But he says it's for today, and we have to take it. No, we don't. He's too early. Well, he's out back now. Well, I'll tell him where he can go. Now, you just remember... Hi, the right. right. Hey, glad I stopped by, huh? Frank, what's, uh, what's going on down here? Yeah, Michael, how you doing? Oh, sis has just went out back to make mincemeat out of the caterer. Oh, she really is having a bad day, isn't she? She sure is. How you doing? How are you holding up? I'm all right. You know, I'm just sticking by, trying to do everything I can to help. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael. I'm really glad she found a guy like you. She really deserves someone who sticks around. Yeah. I like her old boyfriend. Uh, who's that? Dylan, the baby's father. <laughs> is that that guy's name? Actually, I was talking about Nadine dumping her. How am I I'm really worried about Nadine just taking advantage no, of her? Wait a you, you never knew? Knew what? Dylan, I mean, you never knew the guy's name was that? Oh, Michael, it's not like she had a guy over for dinner or anything, you know? Yeah, but don't you know anything about him? Does it really matter? Well, I'm just curious. I mean, the guy must have been important to her. They did have a, a child together. Al Michael. Harley had the baby alone. The guy was long gone. Now, now, you, now you know that. You think it was like a one-night stand? Listen. She saw the guy for a while. And he wasn't any good for her. I mean, I, I could see it in her. How? I mean, how could you tell if you didn't know him, Frank? I could see it in her, Al Michael. She either be out with a guy or hiding up in her bedroom. And she wouldn't even talk to Pops and me. And then the whole thing with the daisies. Well, geez. What, about, what about the daisies? Well, you see, she had this thing about daisies. Nadine had a thing about daisies. When she started going out with this guy, she had him all over the apartment. In fact, she even put him in the bathroom. Yeah, and then she named the baby Daisy, of course. Now, oh, Michael, that was a long time ago. She was just a teenager. See, between watching all those old movies and Nadine filling her head with Hollywood tinsel, she came up with some pretty crazy ideas about romance. She probably invented the whole love and thing because it was as far from the truth as possible, and it, I don't well, know. Well, she... uh, he wrote her a letter. What? That guy, Dylan, he wrote Harley a letter. Great. Nadine, now this guy. Seems like all of Harley's good old buddies are coming out of the woodwork. What did he want? Well, not much. Harley was going to write back and tell him not to contact her, but... She never sent the letter. Good. Because if I ever see that guy again, I'll kill him. Yeah, well, you might have to wait in the line. I'm sick and tired of people stomping on Harley and coming back for seconds. Well, don't worry, Frank. It won't happen again. Well, so much 
much for American vintage craftsmanship. Damn generator. What's that? <laughs> well, I just can't imagine what happened. I mean, I was just chugging down the road, and then all of a sudden it just, just flood, just stopped. For no good reason. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> uh, my thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> what do you think I meant? <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> but the answer is the same. What? Well, it is you, but only one previous owner. <laughs> so what's your name? Jeff. You look like a Jeff. Strong, to the point. <laughs> Want me to check it out now? Ooh, please. Careful now, we don't want you getting dirty. Think you can find anything? Oh, yeah, I could. What? Uh, yeah, it, it, it does look like a generator. No. What is this going to cost me? Okay, Philip. I know you can't bring yourself to look at me, and if that's true, then perhaps it's best we, we know now that it never would have worked out. the airport. I have never heard the English language used to such advantage before. That caterer never had a chance. <laughs> she was clear, concise, very straightforward. I think you mean foul mouth, right? <laughs> of course. He understood, you see. That's the beauty of it. She left no room for doubt. Sam, have you ever heard any of those words before? No. And I wish I'd taken notes. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Why not? I'm always looking for new forms of expression. You should have seen her. Uh, no, thank you. I've been on the receiving end of that too many times. What a release. How exhilarating to be able to cleanse your system by letting it all out that way. If everybody could do that, there would be no ulcers or... Rodents. Absolute rodents. They cooked me a meal in honor of a prairie rat. Oh. Well, what are you talking about? Oh, they got my wedding mixed up with the Elks Club party. They sent me a million liverwurst sandwiches in honor of Groundhog's Day. Liverwurst! <laughs> Idiot pawn scum. Exactly. Uh, trying to ruin your wedding. Your dress has been soaking all this time. I'll be right back. Oh. That dress had better be absolutely white or that chick is not going to live to see Sunday. Oh, will you relax? It was just an accident. Besides, she seems like a sweet kid. Don't you think she's kind of weird? And no, she's still nice. And besides, she thinks you're great. Really? <laughs> yeah. She said she wished she could tell caterers off the way you do. Mm -hmm. She wanted to take notes. Well, she's not going to have to worry about it because she's going to have a repeat performance if that dress isn't... What does she think? Success! <laughs> yeah. Oh, your gown, Miss Cooper. Look you at that. You did it! Sam, you did it! Wow. I take it all back. You're right. Hey, what's going on down here? Is that your dress? No! Don't look! No, come on, don't let me see look. it. Please, please, come on, please, 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 come on, please, please. Hey, 
You want to sit? Mm -hmm. I'm so glad they brought those little bottles back. I remember getting them when I was just a little girl. There were 15 cents then. They used to come out of the machine with little ice on top. Mmm, really cool job. Mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> Woo, sure is a hot one today, huh? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I guess you, uh, you better get started then. Huh? Well, we don't want you working too fast. You might get a heat throw. <laughs> uh, the generator. Didn't you say you could help me out? Oh, yes, ma'am. No charge. You are an angel. Oh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, how long do you think it'll take? Well, I don't have the right part right now. The fact is, I don't think I'll even have it before tomorrow morning. You can't avoid me forever, Will. No, no, that's... Uh... That's not it. I was just wondering if the room, uh, is this the way it looked back then? Oh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, the nuns have restored it, and they, um, <clears throat> they put the door back in. <laughs> Papa had my room sealed off, you see. I guess the good sisters thought it was about time that my shame came to light. Possibly. They're trying to unload the place, and found out there wasn't much call for hidden rooms in the real estate market. So this was Salida's room? This was my room. Not much left of me. You know, I used to dream at night about sneaking you in here. Oh, well, your father would have loved that. I would have expected it, at least. If he'd only known the truth. I remember that night at the inn. How could you do that to me? What? How could you believe her? How could you make love to... You just said that. And look where you're standing. You're standing right where Sonny was. No. Yes, it's because you are Sonny. Listen to him. No. He's telling you the truth. Just listen to him. No.
do you if I make my last will and testament? I wish to bequeath the following. Fletcher, I thought you were arrested. That's not... You made the rule. No crying. Fletcher. Alexandra. It's all right. Lean on me. The more you've got. I know. Michael, please. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, sis, come on. He's gone. Let's see it. Oh. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. What is it? right through the fabric. Harley, I'm mortified. I'm too sorry for words. Yes, you are. My beautiful wedding. Oh, well, honey, I would just love to hang around and watch the sunrise, but um, I've got somewhere to go. Really? Mm-hmm. I promised. Well, what about your car? Oh, don't worry about me. Um, I'll have a friend come by and pick it up tomorrow. Sure. No problem. Yes, operator. Um, a collect call, please. Area code 213-555-7620. It's a close friend. Accept the charges, Dot. It's me. Thank you, operator. Hey, Dottie. <laughs> well, I know, but you said that I could borrow it. Well, I did get the Emory board. I'll, I'll leave them in the glove compartment, all right? Oh, honey, I don't know. I, I, well, one thing just led to another, and I had so many errands to run. Uh, but you can, you can come and get it now. Death Valley. No, no, not, not the road, the place. 
Well, honey, it is not that far from L.A. And listen, listen, you're going to get a new generator for free. Yes. Well, take the bus. It stops right here. No, I won't be back for a while. So you just take care, all right? Oh, oh, and Dottie, thanks. Now, how are you going to get a ride? Oh, would you remember to bring my luggage, please? Question. Here. You feel better? Do you understand now? Do you see it? Yes, I see. I see that you want me dead for some reason. I see you that you want me to be, Sonny. No, I want you to be who you are. Salida is dead. You've made some kind of mistake. No, I... Think, just think, when was the last time you saw Salida? When are you going to let this go? Look, I loved her. She was the only girl that I... She's the only one. Really? Well, let's see, if, if what you say is true, if I am indeed Sunny, then I am the girl you slept with that first night, and all the nights thereafter, right? I know that. Well, then tell me, who do you love? So that was it. That was that was the last time you saw Salida. The last time I saw Sonny was here in this room. Okay, okay. Look, what happened after the beating? I, please, I don't. I, I, please, you have to. I, I can't. Look, I know you remember. Now, just, just try, please. Tell him. No. I need the truth. Just tell him. Look. If I tell you, to, please, promise to just drop this once and for all, please. I just have to know. Please. The, the beating... The beating went on and on. And then Papa had to stop. Because I think his arm was tired or he was afraid of killing me. He knew that I couldn't take much more. And so he left. And I just... I just laid there, crying. I, I don't know for how long. I, I just laid there and cried, and I couldn't stop. The pain was... Sonny never came. She would have come. She couldn't. She couldn't. Your father would have gotten so angry. I know. I know he would have beaten her worse. He could have killed her. I wanted to go to her, but... She's forgotten all that. I did try. I begged Papa. I begged him to let me go to her and help her. And he hit me. He was the only time that he'd ever struck me. And he just, he, he kept saying, it's God's will, leave her alone, it's God's will. And then finally, finally he just left. And I could hear her crying. And she just kept crying, all the sounds of her pain. It just made me want to die. I sat there by the door, begging her to talk to me, and, and she just kept crying. She just, she just kept crying and crying. And then it stopped. It just stopped. She wasn't crying anymore.
And I just sat there all night, listening to nothing. Sonny, in the morning, what happened in the morning? I sneaked into Papa's room and I got the key. I didn't care what he did to me after that. Because I couldn't stand it anymore. I couldn't stand the silence anymore. And I got the key and I came back here and I unlocked the door. What? What did you see? And she's gone. bed is caked with blood. But she's gone and the room's empty. Where is she? Can you tell me where Sunita is? Is she in the is she in the closet? No! 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 Well, Carly, it's gonna be okay. You saw? No, no, I, I heard. Oh. Carly, it's not that noticeable. Well, maybe not the pops. But to anybody else sitting in a church, if you're sitting in the back, you can see them. Maybe we could use a floral piece or drape some tool around. A floral piece? Can you put a floral piece on it? Why don't we put a fruit arrangement, Sam? I can look like Carmen Miranda walking down the aisle. Right, I'll look at that. Look, I know there's some way I can fix this. I know Forget it, Sam. I don't want you within ten feet of my dress. Flowers for Miss Harley Cooper. Finally, a nice surprise. Okay, I hope this chairs are up. Right, there you go. Thanks a lot. He's gonna fix everything. you pleased. Why are we going to such lengths to monitor these people? They are in desperate straits. But why from a distance? Do you think we'd frighten them? The distance is for my benefit, not theirs. I do love you. No! What is it? She is in there! Who? Who are you afraid of? Sonny, you No! She has come back for me! Sonny! You don't understand! She knows that she has come back for me and I no. can't! It's no. not! It's, it's in there! No. She is in 
<laughs> Guiding Light has been presented by Zest Deodorant Bar. Only Zest gets you zestfully clean. This has been Guiding Light. Sportswear by Norton McNaughton. Men's and women's outerwear by Aqua Scutum of London. Be sure to be with us Monday for another full hour of Guiding Light. Thank you.